आप शाहरुख खान से मिला हाँ कब हम लोग हर साल में दो आई मीन मुंबई राइट ना सो वो बेटर थिंग टू डू दे टेक यू गाइस ऑन अ टूर ऑफ अ रियल बॉलीवुड मूवी सेट बट बिफोर दैट Let's go get some breakfast. I'm damn hungry, so we'll go to my favorite bakery here in Bandra, and then I'll take you for a walk around some of the stars' houses. The Bollywood stars all live in this area right here. Oh no, there's a queue outside the bakery, so people come here in the morning to get their their bread for the day for breakfast and everything. Really important here in Mumbai because so many of their foods involve bread, like miso pav, butter pav, pav bhaji, and pav just means like bread. And so they are. They eat a lot of bread here. So these bakeries are really important, and you just won't find bakeries like this in Delhi. We, we just don't got them, and they're not this damn tasty. So it's kind of like a German bakery, but they add a bunch of spice to everything, and, and they really specialize in selling fresh bread in the mornings here. And this area that I'm walking through right now is called Bandra, and Bandra is where like at least 50% of the Bollywood stars live within like a one or two kilometer radius here. You have everybody like Amir Khan, Salman Khan, Shah Rukh Khan, Rekha, Akshay Kumar. Oh my God, the list just goes on and on. So let's go and check out a few of their houses, Anna. So right here on the first floor, that is Salman Khan's house, the bad boy of. Bollywood cinema, and he's lived here forever, like 40 years or something like that. He's never kind of changed apartment complexes. And why would you? You're right by the beach here. Why up Salman Khan dega? Ek baar? Kabi nahi. Or up? Dega? Bhot baar dega Salman. Acha. Kab? Bhot baar dega. All the time. Har din? Nee, sube char baje ka time. Sube char baje. Theek hai, theek hai. Danya baar. Okay, so if you want to see Salman Khan here, you've got to be here at 4 a.m. in the morning, and maybe you'll see him. Only one of those guys had ever seen him because no one's up at 4 a.m. here in India. I can tell you that. The sun is just rising here in Bandra. Now, before we go and head off to Rekha's and then Shah Rukh Khan's house, let's talk a little bit about Bollywood. So there's quite a big misconception out there that Bollywood produces more films than Hollywood each year. It doesn't, but Indian cinema. In general, so Bollywood, Tollywood, Mollywood, all these different Indian cinemas put together, combined, they do produce way more films than Hollywood. But like Hollywood, Bollywood only has a few good films a year, maybe, maybe 30 or so like must-see films a year. And so far, in the first two months of the year, there's only been four. It's been Uri, Mani Karanaka. Gully Boy and and Simba. Those are the four kind of must-see films so far, and the rest have just been absolute rubbish. So it's just like Hollywood. There's only a few good movies you actually need to see. It's like anything in life, right? You have to be selective with what you're watching, with what you're reading, or what you're listening to. And now we've reached Manat. This is Shah Rukh Khan's house. You can't see this behind these massive gates here, but this is like a pilgrimage site for. Kind of all Bollywood fans, and he lives in this kind of like mansion bungalow back here, and he has the most expensive house. It's worth like 200 crore. Ab sharu kahan se mila? Me? Ha. Nee, sharu kahan se nee milta mein. Theek hai. Ab sharu kahan se mila? Haan se mila. Haan, kab? Ham log har saal mein do char baar milte hain. Acha, kaise tha? Wo kaise tha? कैसे था जैसे में लिखता है वही सही था हाँ और उसने क्या क्या कहा कुछ कहता रहे वो बोलता रहे हम लोग से खाली Musicals. They describe it bad enough, but that—that's honestly the perception that foreigners have of Bollywood. But it's totally not true. Bollywood, since the beginning, has given us amazing classic films like Avada, Mother India, Shole, Divar, Salam, Mumbai, PK, Black, Three Idiots. Bollywood has given the world so many amazing movies, but 
foreigners just aren't giving it giving it a shot or they're watching the bad films and Bollywood has evolved to a point now that I've been watching it for 16 years and I now watch more Bollywood cinema than I do actually Hollywood cinema so yeah I love Bollywood and it is an amazing art form and if you guys don't believe me I challenge you to go and actually watch a Bollywood film if you've never watched one before go watch a good one go watch a movie called Dungle it's on Netflix it's got subtitles and it's a story of two Haryanvi wrestlers who go on to be world champions and just watch that movie and I guarantee you'll love it and you'll see Bollywood in an entirely new light. So right in front of us is Rekha's house, a, a famous old Indian actress, famous for Umrao Jaan and her beautiful dancing ability. But you can see it is all covered. You cannot see anywhere inside her bungalow there. What to do? And I know the musical elements of Bollywood put a lot of people off, but when music is done right in a movie, it really adds to the story. So you have like a music producer, someone like Amit Trivedi coming along and writing like five songs for a film and if it's done right it adds to the story but you also come out with five new favorite songs. They're not just songs for the story, they're, they're done well like Amit does, they're a lot deeper than just about the film, he makes them about life, it's just like an artist making music in the west. These songs, if they're done well they aren't just about the movie there you know it's more than that and it has to be more than that if the song's gonna live on after the movies and when you find a nice song from these movies that you love that music stays with you forever right this is why i always say music is part of indian culture and bollywood has given so much music and so much culture to india conte celebrity uh say say mele Sir, I Varun Dhawan from Milao, Johnny Ibrahim from Milao and then the singer who was in Milao, Shankar Mahadeo and then I got a photo of his name I don't remember his name, sir I mean, I have a photo of him in my mobile I mean, I have a photo of him in my mobile I mean, I have a photo of him in my mobile I mean, I mean, I have a photo of him in my mobile I mean, I have a photo of him in my mobile Okay, thank you, sir And now? आप स्पोर्ट वाइज में काम करते हैं फिल्म सिटी में हाँ हाँ वो देखा मैं शाहरुख के देखा है हाँ जो वो पिक्चर का उसका प्रमोशन था ना या उस दिन आया था दो दिन एक वो में देखा है सलमान और शाहरुख और एक काबिता बच्चा That was cool. We met a few people who had met or at least seen some of the celebrities here, but coming here and expecting to meet them like it's not going to happen. It's, it's near impossible, right? Anyway, it's fun to come and see their houses and just see where they live. And you might have noticed the houses don't look that impressive considering they're worth hundreds of millions of dollars and that's because of the property prices here in Mumbai they have absolutely skyrocketed because it's basically an island and there's no room left so house prices are just insane here but if you go inside these places like Manat back there you are gonna like just step into luxury total luxury so the outsides look a bit crusty but the insides are out of this world you can't imagine it so let's go to Film City now and I'll give you a tour of hey guys, one of the most please please subscribe, share, like, comment. Hey, chup, chup, yaar. <laughs> so yeah, let's go to Film City next. Are you coming to Film City? No, 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 I'm not coming. You're not coming? No, Take okay. it. So I'm gonna go to Film City and give you guys please a tour share, of it now. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. 